Secret Santa. This is the guy who's come to New York to hand out $100 bills randomly to people hit hard by Superstorm Sandy. Amazing story. Such a nice guy, and he's planning to give away $100,000 this holiday season, and he's hoping other people will follow his example. ABC's John Triffin spoke with him about the holiday generosity and has the latest. He's been doing this for six years now? It's amazing how long he's been doing this for, and he really seems like just a great guy. What a difference a week makes. The Black Friday Madness had shoppers punching and kicking each other for deals, but this man from Kansas City couldn't be more different. He actually forces media outlets to sign a confidentiality agreement not to reveal his identity. Well, whoever he is, the Secret Santa is reminding all of us what the holidays are truly about. $500, would that help you? Oh my God, that would help me so much. Man, what else in a while? So Benjamin is going to my daughter. It's not every day that a complete Four, stranger will pay five. your bills, but sometimes even the most unlikely miracles can fall on your feet. Here, you know, I think you, you must have dropped that. No. That's got to be yours. Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> the culprit? Secret Santa, the unidentified oh miracle worker whose acts of kindness are bringing people to tears all throughout the country. Oh gosh. Oh, I feel like I just got a million dollars. <laughs> he goes from city to city surprising folks with $100 bills, sometimes spending up to $100,000 a year. It's not about the money. It's really about committing random acts of kindness. I think it's one of the great things that we can do. He's been spreading holiday cheer since 2006, after the original Secret Santa, Larry Stewart, was diagnosed with cancer. I asked him if he had any regrets, and he said, yeah, I just regret that I couldn't have helped more people. Right then and there, I just told him, I'm gonna take as many $100 bills as I can and stamp your name on them, I'm gonna pass them out. This year, he decided to help some people who needed it the most, making his way to Staten Island help those affected by Hurricane Sandy. And I thought to myself, what is stronger, the force of Hurricane Sandy or the spirit of the people that it affected? And I will tell you, it's the spirit of the people. For someone to give something back to us, you know, it was a surprise. Secret Santa does not show his face, and if his secret identity is revealed, he says he'll have to quit. It takes away from what you're doing. But it's no secret that he's touching lives $100 bill at a time. Thank you so much, Secret Santa. I believe in Santa. <laughs> How amazing is that? Well, the mysterious man from Kansas City says over the years, the one thing he's noticed is that the people who have the least actually gives the most, which shows this really has nothing to do with money. It makes all of us believe in Santa when you hear a story like that. Yeah. All right, John, thanks. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.